Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Yet another video covering the Steam Winter Sale 2017 and this is one of those videos that I really wanted to do and I've been mentioning that I wanted to cover games that a lot of you guys probably haven't played. They're not a lot of repeat deals and they're games that I think are quality that haven't gotten the attention that they deserve. Some of these games are a little bit more popular than the other ones on the list but overall I think these games do deserve a wider audience. So in this video we're going to be specifically taking a look at five Five awesome underrated titles that were released in 2017. So no, there's no Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, there's no The Evil Within 2, there's no Resident Evil 7, Nier Automata isn't even on sale for whatever reason, so many of you guys are complaining about that to me. But yeah, none of that on this list, some lower key titles, and one of these games in particular is a little bit more popular, but still I think it's a game that a lot of you guys probably haven't played. So let's get right into this, first of all is a game by Supergiant Games, the guys that made Bastion as well as Transistor, and back in July, they put out Pyre. And Pyre is 50% off down to $10, and what it is is a party-based RPG where you play as an exile and you lead your band of exiles to freedom through a series of competitions in the campaign, and there is a multiplayer component to the game as well. And what you're gonna find in Pyre is a lot of what you found in Bastion and Transistor. Great soundtrack, very story-driven, and artistically, obviously, this game is absolutely wonderful to look at. I think Supergiant Games is just one of those studios that, while they don't release games that are technical juggernauts, or not, they are absolutely amazing in designing a game with a terrific art style, and that's what Pyre is yet again. I can understand if you think $10 is a little bit steep, but this game does have a quality amount of content to it. But I do know that Supergiant Games' titles do go on sale relatively quickly. Sometimes they appear on Humble Bundles down the line. That was the case for Bastion and Transistor. But still, I think Pyre is a fantastic game, and for $10, it's well worth it. And at the end of the day, $10 isn't breaking the bank for a game of this quality. Next up, this this is probably the most notable game on this list, but it's a game that still went relatively under the radar, and that's Sniper Elite 4. I'm shocked that Sniper Elite 4 didn't gain more traction than it did. It just seemed like the type of game that would be right up so many gamers' alley, but it didn't really resonate with a lot of gamers, and I don't really know why. It is a really well-made open-world third-person shooter, and on PC, it is an awesome port. The game looks really good, it plays really well, and some of the kills are absolutely brutal in the game. You've got a decent amount of content to it, and yes, it is relatively expensive, 66% off at $20.39, but given the fact that this is a triple A style game and it released back in February, it's not that old, and $20 for it, I would say, is worth it. And as I mentioned, if you do have a higher end PC, if you can play this game at a higher resolution and max out all of the settings, it is a beautiful game to look at, and it's very well optimized. Even if you do have a lower end rig, if you're playing at, say, 1080p, you can still run the game fairly easily. And like I said, it's just a game I'm shocked didn't resonate with more gamers than it did. Next up, we've got an awesome nostalgia game for me, and that is Res Infinite. Res is an old school on-rail shooter that was released back on the PlayStation 2, I believe. And visually, this game is very stylish, and it's got amazing beats to it. That's one of the key drawing points to Res is the music. I just think that is a great element to the game. And it's very fast-paced, and while it doesn't have a ton of content to it, there's a lot of reason to go back and play through the game multiple times. It's just a blast to play, and it's one of those games that I'll always find myself being able to relax and go back into, play for an hour here or there, and just have a quality time with it. Now, it is 40% off at $15, a little bit expensive. All these games, because they were released this year, a little bit more expensive than a lot of the other titles that I've mentioned, but Res is a great game, and this is a game probably a lot of you guys don't even know is on PC. To give you guys an idea of how underrated it is, it's only got 400 total reviews on Steam, and I know that might not be the best barometer to judge a game's popularity, but that's really freaking low. And yeah, Res is a game that just deserves a lot more recognition. And by the way, you can play this game with your standard controls, or if you do have VR, this is a game that is fully playable through VR as well, so you can do that. I'm not a big VR guy, but if that's your cup of tea, you can do that as well. Next up, we have Sunder. This is a game developed by Thunder Lotus Games, not the most notable studio in the world, but they also worked on the fantastic Jotun. And if you play that game, once you look at Sunder, you can tell, okay, yeah, this was a game made by the same developers. It's got that same very artistic style. And Sundered is a Metroidvania-style game, and while it does have its issues, I think the positives of Sunder far outweigh the negatives. The art, the gameplay is pretty solid, and it's got some pretty good music. It's 50% off down to $10. If you want a cheaper experience, again, Jotun is another game by them, and that's really good. That game is 67% off for $4.94, and I feel like that's a game that a lot of you guys haven't checked out either, so maybe check that out 
first, see what these guys can do, and then give Sundered a look as well. This is actually a title I played back when I went to PAX earlier this year, and to me, it was by far the standout game that I played there. If you enjoy titles such as Axiom Verge or other Metroidvania games, Sundered is one that's gone really under the radar. This is another one, only 400 reviews on Steam, so give it a look. At the very least, add it to your wishlist and maybe pick it up down the line if it gets a little bit cheaper. And finally, for whatever reason, I always like to round out these more obscure lists for a game for my weeb brothers. This is another Yeast title. Earlier this year, you guys might not know, but Yeast 7 came over to PC. Yeast 7 was a game that was originally released on the PlayStation Portable, and it's a game that I played on the PSP, and I put so much time into it. Came out on PC earlier this year with absolutely no fanfare. We talked about Sundered and Res Infinite having 400 reviews. Well, Yeast 7 has a whopping 140 reviews on Steam. Obviously, the this is more of a niche title, but if you're a fan of Japanese RPGs, as I've always said, Yeez is one of those staple, consistent franchises that puts out a quality product with each outing. Sometimes they're not that triple A big budget experience, but Yeez knows its target audience, and that's for those gamers that like those more niche JRPGs. And these games also, I feel like I haven't mentioned this often when talking about Yeez, amazing, amazing soundtracks. They are absolutely great. Now, this game is a little expensive. I would have liked this game to just release cheaper. It's 25% off at 18 dollars and 74 cents with all jrpgs you are getting a lot of hours for your money but again a psp game released back in like 2009 i think but even still for 1874 it's a game that i wanted to mention at the very least just like with sundered add it to your wish list down the line i'm sure it'll get cheaper but yeah this was the first truly modern yeast title a lot of the other yeast games came out way back in the day like back in the 90s so yeast 7 was kind of a more modern experience and then yeast 8 is also set to come to pc sometime soon it was actually supposed to come day and day with the PlayStation 4 version, but some issues got in their way and they postponed it. Hopefully it comes out as a good product. But Yee 7 was one of those JRPGs that barely anybody talked about, and probably rightfully so. It came out with little to no promotion. It's a port of a PSP game, but it's still a great game, and I wanted to mention it. So that wraps up this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope I was able to bring to light some games that you guys have not played. And somebody in the comment section, I'm sure, is going to say, Mush, I've played all of these games. And to those people, I would say congrats. You're a freaking nerd like me. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys have a request for a future video, anything else you'd like to see me cover in the sale, I've gotten so many requests from you guys already, so I'll try to get to that as soon as possible. That's going to wrap this one up, guys. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.